Hello, beautiful family, lovers of good things, lovers of important personnel all over the globe. I bring greetings from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Thank you for your love, thank you for your support. I just can't thank you enough. So, in this platform, we react to all videos and we give you all the latest updates. In fact, we draw the world closer to your desktop. So, please watch this video and I will be watching it with you. Don't forget, drop your opinion in the comment section and I'll be right back. In Anambra, you are a coward to be saying it publicly. You are a coward. Is that how to campaign? Is campaign now between yourself? Campaign is between you and the people. Come and co convince the people. Convince the people. Organize campaign. You can't have it because we control Biafra land and we will never allow any political activities to take place in, in Biafra. So what I'm trying to say this evening is that if you have a secret campaign and uh, without uh, like unannounced campaign unannounced rally we know the date of the election that is what matters and that is why we say that our eyes is on the ball what matters is that we know the date of the election that is all we don't care that you know uh, you, you make a secret campaign and all that. But that's what, that's not what I'm here this evening. They pay the price of the atrocity committed against us. So why I'm here this evening is to tell this man and the people of the Middle Belt, do not waste the opportunity that is coming. Of course, you can't even waste it. Because I know why when we pull out, I don't think you are going to stay. But I just want you to stop making preparation. Do not take what I am saying for granted. Do not take this Biafra coming 2023 for granted so that you will not say, had I known. You need to start making preparation. I did not, I did not say, come and fight. No. What I'm saying is that get ready. Once we start, you pull out too. I am not begging you people to come and fight with us. We are ready to fight Nigeria for our freedom. I am not asking you to come and fight because I know that you are not prepared. You are not prepared. I'm only telling you, I'm only talking to the Middle Belters today to take advantage of the atmosphere, to take advantage of the opportunity that the Biafra people will create from next month. Take advantage for your own good, for your own development, for your own freedom, for the freedom of your people, for your freedom of your unborn generation, take advantage of what Biafra is bringing to your table. If you do not take what I'm saying very serious, you will regret it. Take my word for granted and you will see what will happen to you. Get ready to exit Nigeria with Biafra people and any other nation that want to leave Nigeria. Get ready. I am talking to the Middle Belt. You are going to do very well on your own. You have natural resources. You have minerals. You have agriculture. You have food. You have everything. Pull out. Why? If you want to stay with them, to be a slave, it is your choice. But let me tell you, once we pull out, we are not going to look at anybody. We will seal our border and our border will be very tight. We are not going to, you know, let, you know, loosen up until every person in Biafra land become comfortable. This is going to be a very strict immigration law. We are going to have a very, very strict immigration law that we will not look at anybody from anywhere until everybody in Biafra land become comfortable to create jobs for everybody. Before we look, that is what we are going to promise Biafra people. Immigration law of Biafra will be very tight. And we are not ready to look any face. We will solve our problem before we look outside. So you don't see, think that when we get, uh, uh, you know, Biafra, uh, some of you will run. When they kill you, you run. Pull out. Use what we are going to create and pull out. The opportunity is calling you. Do not miss this opportunity. I want you people to listen to this man. 
and that is who we are. Now, the North, the, the British wanted the North to remain monolithic for some reason. They wanted it because they wanted to hand power over power to the North. And they, they wanted and they handed over the power to the North. Now, you know how the North have treated you. And I don't think you'll be very stupid and cowardly to continue to mingle yourself with the people that have treated you this bad. They use you to keep their friends and today. Look at where they are. Look at where you are. They only use you, they kill Biafrans in order to Islamize Nigeria and turn Nigeria into caliphate. We are not, it is only Biafra people that have been able to stop these people from turning uh, Nigeria into Fulanized country. The Middle Belt is weak, very, very weak. And convince me that you have men. Convince, convince me that Gawon and Co came from the Middle Belt. Convince me that you are not a coward, that you have men from the middle belt. Somebody's, when I was, uh, you know, somebody was telling, oh, don't come and talk to middle belt. Who are you to address middle belt? You are all coward. If you cannot stand up and fight for your freedom, all the people, middle belt have no men, except this man who is summary courage to talk, but now going to a wrong way. I am only trying to now bring him back to the right path. You are going to, you know, going towards a very wrong direction with a very well-tabled history of the Middle Belt, indigenous people in the Middle Belt, and then you want to now align with the South. We are not interested. We are not interested with alliance of anything that has to do with Nigeria. Don't align with us. No, we are not interested in your alliance. How are you going to bring alliance, alliance for a better Nigeria? It is not going to happen. We are now fighting for survival. So all this, your political gimmick of come, alliance. We are now forming this alliance with the South. No! We want development. You see, let me tell you. If you form an alliance with the Southern Nigeria, the terrorist Fulanese will continue to fight. They will continue to make Nigeria ungovernable. They will continue to create more insecurity. And you can't kill all of them. You can't kill all of them. So we don't want to continue to fight. It is not a must that we are going to be in the same country. I am just telling you now to save the future of your generation. What we want to do is that everybody go their separate way. That is going to be the only solution to Fulani killing. Because by then, the interest, what they are fighting for, the, that thing that is making them to, to fight and kill people in Nigeria have been disintegrated. They will not come to your land without your permission. They will not come to Biafra land without permission. That is it. You can be able to protect your land, decide how they live in your land, decide how they enter and how they exit. So if you form alliance with the Southern Nigeria, how have you formed alliance? How will, will your alliance end the terrorism that is coming from the Fulani Caliphate? Caliphate, like you rightly, rightly say. They use Middle Belters to beef up the population of the North before independence. And though, before independence, if you look at the population, go back to history, all these things are uh, there, you can Google and see. Yes. The Southeast and Bamenda had the highest population, okay. followed by the Southwest and the North, that is including the Middle Belt, okay. had the third po la I mean, uh, population in terms of numerical strength. However, the British wanted to hand over to the north and therefore denied the Middle Belters a, a, a region for themselves. Yes. Though after independence, the southern minorities were given Midwestern region. Okay, the but truth is coming out. The truth, that hidden history that nobody wanted to talk about. Do you think that this man just know this history today? <laughs> Do you think that this man just know this history today? This is the history that has been hidden many years ago. Yet, this man that is talking now, come from a region, the Middle Belt, and the governor of the Middle Belt are having a meeting with the Northern governors. I have been shouting about this particular thing for a while. I have been shouting, calling Governor Autumn to stop going to a meeting of the Governor Northern Governors Forum meeting. Did you how, how long did you hear that they had, you know, there was a meeting like a Northern Governors Forum? When did you hear it? When did you hear it last? I am asking you. When did you hear last that there was a meeting of the Northern Governors Forum and a jointly issued statement? 
You didn't hear that for a while, right? That is the crisis. That the Biafra agitation, the eye-opening. has. I know that after this broadcast now, they are going to call a Northern Governors meeting to just say one thing or the other. I know they are going to do it. Even if Governor Autumn didn't go, they will say he sent to send the representative. If uh, the governor of a plateau did not go, they, they say send them. I am telling you, there has never been governors of the North, the Northern Governors meeting for a while. You don't know the reason. The reason is that the fire of Biafra is burning everywhere. So I have come to call this man to order, to understand that he will not, you shouldn't channel this energy to a wrong cause. The wrong cause is to align for join alliance with the Southern Nigeria. It doesn't, it doesn't need to do that. If you want to join alliance, let, let the alliance be alliance for the freedom of his people and not alliance for Nigeria. Nigeria has collapsed and we are going to collapse it. The remaining, the remaining one, we are going to collapse it this year. Also, political consideration, which now we... So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do what to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and...